It's easy to confuse the set update calc calc script command with the update calc sbase config file setting, but we'll be covering the one you can use inside of an sbase calc script. Inside of an sbase calc script, set update calc turns on or off intelligent calculation. Now, like most set commands, it is procedural, meaning you can turn it on or off within the calc script. At the end of the script, it'll revert to whatever the database wide setting is. And the syntax is just set update calc and then either on or off. So what is intelligent calculation? It's SBase's way of remembering which blocks in the database need to be calculated and which blocks in the database have already been calculated. The blocks that have already been calculated are marked as clean in the SBase database index. The blocks that still need to be calculated are marked as dirty. This is really helpful when you're doing incremental updates to sparse dimensions. Let's say I have a Hyperion planning application and I just went in and loaded data for all 50 states. And then I aggregated. Well, it takes the state information, rolls that up to east, west, south, and central, takes those and rolls them up to total market. And at this point, SBase marks the entire database as clean. This is really helpful when I'm running a default calc because I don't need to remember which specific blocks I need to calculate. Now, let's say somebody goes in and changes the Texas amounts. Maybe they want the great state of Texas to have twice as much in sales. At this point, SBase will mark the index block for Texas to dirty. It also marks all the ancestors, meaning south and total market, to dirty as well. Now, if we're running a calc script, we don't want SBase to decide which blocks have already been calculated and only gives us access to a few. Maybe we're running a clear script, and we just finished calculating the whole database, and we want to run our clear script. Well, if we left intelligent calc on, we would go to the index and say, hey, which blocks do you think we need to calculate? And the database will say, here are exactly no blocks because you just finished calculating everything. And then our next clear line would operate on absolutely nothing. So to turn off intelligent calculation, just for the duration of the calc script, we just need set update calc off, and then of course the semicolon. If we want to turn it on later in the calc script, we can. We can say set update calc on. You don't need to turn it on at the end of your calc script. It's going to revert to the database setting when your calc script finishes. And just remember that for most S-based calc scripts, we're probably going to turn intelligent calc off. So we'll see that line set update calc off at almost every single S-based calc script that we write. Sometimes you'll hear people say that their calc script works some of the times, but sometimes it doesn't operate on every block they want it to. Most often that's because SBase is using intelligent calculation, and we can help just by adding a set update calc off command at the top of that calc script. Oh.